my beautiful people now welcome back again to my channel if today not the first time you they come my channel i appreciate say you see my channel now god go bless you i beg as you come today i go say make we for be one family make you help me like this video drop your comments what do you think about this video and make you still subscribe to my channel to all my family when they already subscribe on a still they come back now only god now I go run on a matter for now i greet all of you according to na time according to where now they hear me from on a good morning good afternoon and good evening god go bless all of you now so my people I tell on her before for one of my videos, say, I go visit this, our sister, Mata. You understand? Another time. So when I make the video, when the OVA of Udu Kingdom, His Royal Majesty, Barrister Emmanuel Bete de Lekbe, the Owuru the first, can't give shift I see title to sons and daughters of Udu Kingdom. I say, I go, in short, I go put the link for up. As I they talk now, if you never watch that video, you feel click on the link when I go they put for up as you as I they talk now, so that you go feel watch that video. So back to waiting, I they talk. So he get our sister where her name now Averoswa Chapel Tracy. When don't be chief. So now chief now for Udu Kingdom. So. <clears throat> Her name not be that one again. Uh -huh. Make a color as a suppose color. She have a Roswa Chapel. The Okubetu of Udu Kingdom. Now so her name there now. She don't come break hundred year old Urobo tradition. And she come become the Okubetu of Udu Kingdom. Why be say? For so long time now, my people, hmm, not be smart, you know, they really say what a man can do, a woman can do it better. For Urobo land, eh, this one, uh, it never even happened before. For 100 years now, when they give title, when the person, papa, they answer before he die to the girl picking. Normally, now, man, now they do it, now they feel take it, papa title. So, she, if I were a Na alaga woman when be like say na from Udu local government of Delta State na she come from na person when struck a karakato say na sport presenter na journalist na she be so na sport uh, sport presenter for Wazobia FM na two days ago you know say as I tell na say I go visit a matter for that video it should be like say no say something good they front they wait for her she you understand he good more they celebrate better things if you watch for my channel so kind things like this I know they want to if I do a video half I go drop them I know you know they go well with me I go just abandon I no go do them again people don't know the reason at times bad news not the good for body now good news eh now they make the body the sweet person she you understand so now two days ago now the second give her award as the female sports journalist of the year here on her so my people i they talk about this matter you know why because now 100 years record now this our sister now she break yakpata mm, it never happened the title kugbe means say na peace now be the okugbe so i go they put a video she tell us why he papa take that title you understand what they tell you? I tell you now before say na alaga girl. Now from alaga she come. So may not be like say na me go they talk the whole thing when she don't talk. I go they put the video. More than hear what she talk. Why that name take come about? On I know say alaga no go just they fight. Not be today even before they bomb me. So she go talk for the video for one of the interview when they interview her. She talk about why they give your papa the title and when your father die that they share your father things you know like when the father don't write the will you know when person die you know so i just a russian may not too long i want more to watch from waiting she won't talk so she don't talk 
why she shoes the title. Imagine they shoes all the whole things they shoes, 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 shoes. But if papa title see they there, and you know what make it papa legacy just die like that. Now person when he be like say he broke up peace, you know, when the Alagia no bujo fight there for very long time. So that's why the father take the title. So my people, I go they drop a moon here from my mouth. So I go see you now for another video. If you never subscribe to my channel, I don't know what you wait for. Subscribe to this channel. I may see turn on the notification bell so that anytime when I upload any video, now you go feel be the first person when they go to send. I go see you now again for another video. On a bye bye. Now, the Urubus are, are people located in the southern part of Nigeria, near the north uh, western Niger Delta, now known to be a major ethnic group in Delta State, uh, Southwest Ni Southeast Nigeria. Now, the Urubus speak the Urubus language now in over 100 years kings are known to hand over a father's chieftaincy title to their sons now this long-standing tradition has been the culture of the people well just a few days ago this long-standing tradition witnessed a change as the king otherwise known as ova the elders and the people of udu kingdom deemed it fit to hand over the chieftaincy title to her to a woman now indeed the future is female now this morning we have joining us a sportcaster media personality and now a chief. We have Tracy Swar Chappelle, who is Okube number two or Okube the second of Udu Kingdom. Many thanks for joining the program, Swar. Or do I call you Okube the second now? Congratulations <laughs> on this new Thanks. breaking, new record breaking title. How does it feel? I mean, you're the first female to be given this title in like what over a hundred years now? Oh yes, yes. It feels so real because when we started the process after my dad died and we buried him in October, it didn't feel like it was something that was going to be record breaking. It was just a family meeting with my family. You know, we're 19, my brothers and I, my sisters and I, uh, cousins and whatnot. You know, we had that meeting and we're like, okay, this is part of daddy's legacy, this is part of daddy's legacy. And, you know, we're checking out the will and what was going to happen to, you know, what he had left and when it came to this aspect you know my brothers were not like that interested they were like no we're not about that traditional thing we just want to do our thing and keep it moving and i felt some type of way because uh, where i come from udu but alaja which is one of the major houses in fact the king current king comes from the alaja axis and um as it stands you know i felt the love that my people had for my father I mean, the Alaga people, they've been in a crisis for um, a land settlement for, give or take, five years off and on. And economy and commerce has been on a slow grind, but they were able to raise monies, massive monies to support us when it comes to the burial. And people cried for the kind of work my dad had done in the community and the kingdom. And I felt some type of way leaving that to just go, because we've had great families in the rubber land. We've had the Hebrews, the Ayoros, the Dumujes, among others, and no one in my generation and the generation before mine felt it was needful to do that. I'm based in Lagos. Most of what I do is around this aspect or outside Nigeria or something. So, but I told my brothers that I don't want to let this legacy go. And they were like, if you're interested, we'll support you. And thankfully my king, they were the first uh, of the Lekpe. He was like, he was very keen on it. His wife was keen on it. The council of elders, they were keen on it because uh, they just want the tradition to continue even in the modern times and i'm just glad that by the time we did it and the custodians and the historians looked at it and were like yo this is the first time i felt stunned and i don't know how to ask let me know like because if the you check the videos i'm probably one of the youngest from wow. where i come from to do this okay. and i'm working i i'm doing this interview now but i'm running back to my morning show on wazovia because Mom was chop. Yeah. But yeah. they understood this part. And mm -hmm. it's going to be quite a thing marrying the modern and the rigors of trying to make a living and make your name in what you do, mm -hmm. whether you're a sportscaster or whether you're just a regular journalist or regular work person. But I feel honored that I was deemed worthy because truly, if I wasn't, the title would have passed on to another family. It is what is done. Wow. And I'm glad that my king, my people, they, they felt it was okay to give it to a woman. Well, Gender I, aside, I am, they seem to feel like I meet all the criteria, so well, I'm well, just honored. 
this basically this you know this event clearly made uh, headlines on social media because uh, being that uh, you're a woman and you're taking this title uh, the Okukwe II of Udu Kingdom people talked about it and we were like wow that's Tracy that's our colleague that's my friend that's what <laughs> that's what <laughs> it's what you hear on, on sports and now <laughs> going forward what will your responsibilities be now that you have this shift tensi title of uh, Udu Kingdom what would it mean for you does it mean that We'll not see you anymore or hear you anymore on radio. What, what's, going to, what's going to happen? That's the beauty of it. Um, in my, my, my parents' generation, even my king, my king was a lawyer. And when he became a lawyer and became a king, he stopped working as a lawyer. Um, my dad was uh, a marine engineer as well as a businessman and a contractor. He was also a justice of peace, among other things. But when he took on the title of, you know, Okugbe, that's the peacemaker, and AKA the unifier, because that's what Okube means. You know, he kind of rearranged his career to suit um, the needs of his people. Uh, but times are changing. Like I said, you have to make your daily 2K. Uh, for me, the good thing is the bulk of what I've worked on for the past decade has been sports. And sports is one of the ways that unifies people, no matter whether you're a king or a pauper, it doesn't matter whether you're blue collar or white collar. When everybody sits at a stadium and Cristiano Ronaldo scores, Everybody shouts, it's a go. Or Nigeria makes a bucket on behalf of the country. Everybody shouts, off Nigeria. So um, I hope that I would use my work as a sports journalist, my work as a journalist generally, to shine positive light on my community. The hope is to work with foundations such as the Wilson Ejebin Foundation, among others. I've been doing that before in other states, like Edo State and whatnot. I've been doing that working with the United um, um, States missions. Uh, again, I'm there working with people like Fortem and uh, Inspire, but I hope to transfer what we do in other states mm. into wow. my community and mm. into my state. Wow. If it's just inter school sports alone, that will change lives because Nigerians and Africans and world people know that the Southerners are big in athletics, are big in sports. And if they have something to look out for, that will tackle things like cyber. Um, cyber crime that's really prevalent in young youths from my community, from my kingdom, among other things. So the hope is to work with organizations, work with parastators and corporations, and create avenues where youths, especially developing youths in their preteens and their teen age, can compete and do what they naturally are gifted at. And right. that's the project we are looking at next year. That's beautiful. Now, so you mentioned that you are 19. Are you talking about your siblings or your extended family? Because that's a lot no, of mean. numbers. Are you oh, talking about like... We have so many. Oh, okay. Yeah, many. Okay, so, so many. now, so I wanted to also, I mean, you've, you've gotten this title, which is a traditional title. Does mm. this mean that you get involved in some traditional meetings where they are mostly men? Or does this mean that um, mm. your, your bet place has been taken up or is this still the same yeah it, it, you know for a lot of people it it means it means different things in, yeah. from your own tradition does it mean that you will get involved in more meetings that have that are predominantly men or male or does this mean you still remain the same in terms of status quo so um there are women chiefs in my community in Uruboland. we have young chiefs even um i was blessed to have a friend chief uh, um christabel Buwebi. Uh, that was from another kingdom in Ugeli, where she got her, she got her own title um, when she was in her 20s. But the difference between what has gone on before and what is happening now is I am inheriting my father's home. Wow. And in, in that stand, that means that if I had gotten the chieftaincy as a married woman, that my husband had gotten the title, I would have been given a title. And maybe me and my husband are not together. That means whatever privileges are there, I would no longer have it. What happens is I'm just a cultural custodian now. I will sit in the place where the men sit, where they have the conversations pertaining to our traditions and our culture and our people um, according to the level that my grade reach, because everything is by grade. They are ruling houses and they are elders. For now, I'm one of the youngest. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sit in the high end with the executives, but one thing I know for sure is for now, I will be in a place where my father has been. Maybe mm. not all the places, but I will sit where my seniors are. And mm. hopefully I'll get some wisdom as well, because 
Wow. That is needed. We this need is, to translate that to the next generation. This is, this wow. is a very first race, as we say, Africa first right here on New Central. This is a very first uh, for Udu Kingdom out there in Delta State. Inheritance uh, from a land. father, a honorable land, from a father to a daughter for mm -hmm. a chief dancing title. title. Well, I'm sure lots of Africans are seeing this right now, wondering, wow, a woman. Well, congratulations, chief. And uh, how do we address you? <laughs> chief. Olorogun. 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 Migwa. Migwa. No, no, no. <laughs> Just the Olorogun and I'm fine. That's Olorogun. Fine. All, right. All right. Olorogun, yes. which is the Okumbe, the second treaty at uh, Chapel Swat. Thank you very much for coming on Breakfast Central. Thank you for having me. Have a good one. All right. All right. Well. <laughs>